been talking about and setting us up for a very exciting quarter of earnings still to come in here. And for more on that, I want to bring on our two market guests to discuss all of that with us. David Bonson, the Bonson Group Chief Investment Officer, joins us right now alongside Chad Oviat, uh, Huntington Private Bank Director of Investment Management. Uh, and David, why don't we start with you? Because we have been talking a lot about kind of the expectations right now on Wall Street. And if, if anything has been proven out so far, it seems like they might be low still. Um, but it might be a little bit of hesitance, I think, on the part of analysts to raise expectations beyond where they're at. So how do you see earnings season going, given the strength we've seen from the bank so far? I, I think it's going to have a lot more to do with forward guidance for the remainder of earnings season because you really are looking at comparables year over year that are just so skewed by where things were a year ago. Um, some companies, I think, we're going to want to look at how they're doing now versus 2019, but the 2020 year over year comparisons are going to be very skewed. But as far as how markets respond to different things, you look at this week, a huge blowout response from Goldman Sachs and Goldman stock went higher. A great response, great uh, numbers out of JP Morgan. Their stock went down one or one and a half percent. So there's different uh, ways that things are already baked in as well. And, and we've seen that this week with the great results in the financial sector. As you get into the more penetrated parts of the S&P sectors, I expect we're going to look to their forward guidance as a key market mover. Well, Chad, on that front, we've seen the Dow cross that 34,000 level uh, for the first time on those strong numbers we've gotten out from uh, these banks so far. I mean, it feels like beyond that, the expectations for future growth is spilling outside of value names as well. Where are you positioning yourself right now um, on, on the expectation that this momentum does continue? Right now, if we were to tell you what our favorite three sectors are, it's industrials, materials, and finance. So uh, I guess that does lean to a value tilt, but we are staying pretty balanced in our construction. David, would you uh, agree with that one as well? Yeah, we're real bottom up oriented as well. And so in that sense, we have uh, quite a bit in common. Um, but I do think you end up with a value tilt right now when you're being bottom up oriented. And for us, it's particularly dividend growth investors. We um, really have a value orientation just because some of the great dividend growers are in consumer staples. Last quarter, they were in energy and energy was at a really attractive value. That's, you know, there's been a great recovery there. I think you have to be bottom-up oriented. I think the indexes are trading at multiples that are too expensive to just want to own everything. Discernment right now is very key, and I know people have been saying it for years, but it's really become true. It's now the time for active managers.